you have to have realistic drawing skills before you start engaging with ideas or stories. People want to have a set schedule. Like I have to achieve A in order to achieve B. But really there is no set schedule when learning a skill and learning how to express yourself and learn more about yourself. There's no formula to it. And people love a formula. Sometimes it can be a tag team. You can work on your drawing fundamentals and then say, okay, I need to draw better in order to achieve this idea. Or I need more ideas now, just tag team it. You have to just find the process that works for yourself. People assume when you want to start making art that you should go with technique first and then concept. Concept and idea should actually be prioritized because that's what's giving you motivation and inspiration to make the piece. There's no reason you can't do both at the same time. Perhaps you want to get better at your drawing skills, but then you also sketch in your sketchbook. Every now and then an idea comes by and you do that. When did you make this cat? <laughs> I might have been seven or eight years old. I have to say I definitely lifted this from some New Yorker cartoon. I saw Mia, yeah, what's going on here? <laughs> well, unlike Kat, I made this a few weeks ago. As you can see by the timestamp, I awoke randomly at 2.30 in the morning with this idea that this girl was going to eat a fish. Like, I don't understand where my mind was at, but I had to get it down, so I just scribbled it in my notes app. You can see it's not very detailed or realistic at all, but it gets some idea across. And Kat, what happened here? <laughs> I love this. I was... 11 or 12 years old, and I wanted to draw the horrible experience of going to the dentist. There's an idea right there. I'm assuming your realistic drawing skills were not back then what they are now, but you were already telling stories as a child. That mindset of I'm collecting ideas, I'm finding stories, maybe I don't have the skills that I want yet, but when you get those skills, that sketchbook's waiting there for you. You've got that archive of ideas. I think focusing too much on skills and realism, it can actually hold you back because then when you say, oh, okay, now I'm ready to come up with stories, it's very hard. Brainstorming and coming up with ideas, it's not something you can do overnight. That's the most difficult part for me is coming up with ideas and finding that motivation something that makes me want to go out and do something. I don't even know what this is. This is not coherent. What is that? But it's still some idea that I had that inspired me to open my notes app in the early morning. Sometimes the ideas come naturally. Sometimes it takes more brainstorming, rack my brain and come up with some idea that will really get me going. 